Hey y'all, it's Tammy. And today, we're making delicious collard greets. y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and it's almost New Year's so I'm getting my collards prepared ahead of time. Collard greens are something you can make before the big day um, and you got to have some on New Year's Day because it's a tradition. Now these are very large collards that I got down at the grocery store. These came from Ingalls. You want to get two bunches and they had them on sale two for five this week. Um, whenever you're making a large collard you absolutely do not want to put this large stem in there. That's why I do not like to buy collards that are already chopped and ready to cook because they've all got the big stems in there. The stem is what makes them more bitter tasting and I just don't like to cook it. Now when I wash my collards, I always take the big leaf first and I run it under my water and most of the time they've got sand and dirt on them and I rub the large leaf on both sides with my hands like this and that's how I wash it. Okay, before I start tearing all the leaves off, I wash them all at one time. That way the water don't have to run forever. And I stack them up in my sink and you want to leave one part of the sink open so that when you're rinsing the sand and the dirt off your collards, you're not rinsing it onto the clean ones, the ones that you've already wiped off. So um, I also put on a little bit of warm just so it don't freeze my hand to pieces. Just so, I just wanted to show y'all that, and then um, I'm almost to the end on washing my collards. And then I'm gonna start ripping them off the stem and then twisting them and putting them in my pot. And I'll show you how to cook it from there. And then after washing it, I tear the leaves, the green part off the stem, just like that. And if they're a really large collar like this one, I twist it once and that's how I clean and wash my collards. Once I get all of these rinsed off and in my pot, then I'm gonna show you how I cook them. Okay, those two batches of collards made this pot go all the way to fill. And when you put water on collards, to know how much water they really need, you should take your hands and press them down as tight as you can get them. And you're gonna start adding water. And when that water gets up to your hands in the pot, that's all the water you need. So I usually let it go right, up, right to my fingers, right above my fingers like it's doing now. And then I turn it off. These are gonna reduce a whole lot it looks like it's going to be a whole lot of collards, but once they're cooked, it won't be near that many. So you do need to make at least two bunches. I'm going to put two nor bouillon cubes in here. Um, yes, I use nor bouillon in my collards unless I've got some ham handy. I don't like uh, other meats in my collards. Uh, I haven't tried the smoked turkey legs. I'm sure it's probably pretty good. I just do not like bacon or anything like that in mine. So I use two chicken nor bullions, and believe it or not, they're delicious when they're done. So if you'll just do it, and trust me, um, you'll be surprised. Now we're gonna put in about a quarter cup of oil, and that's olive oil. You can use whatever kind of oil you want. You can use butter if you want to. Just put some kind of oil in it. And then you want two tablespoons of sugar in there. And you can use brown sugar or you can use regular sugar. Just put in two tablespoons, whichever one you use. Of course, if it's regular sugar, if it's brown sugar, it needs to be packed or heaping on a, on a spoon like this um, or just packed in a regular tea, uh, measuring spoon. So that's uh, two nor bouillon two tablespoons of sugar. I don't tell you to use brown sugar in my cookbook, but you can. Um, or it doesn't really matter, whichever one you got. And then put your water in there. And we're going to cover these and start to boil them and let them start cooking. It's gonna take a while to make these collars and get them tender. So this is not something you need to do an hour before it's time to eat. Make them a day ahead 
and that way you can reduce them some more if you need to. Um, when you get finished with these, you're going to want the collared, uh, some people call it pot liquor, the actual broth that it, that it makes will be nice and brown and absolutely delicious. Alright, these have been in here about an hour and a half on medium low, which is pretty close to medium, I guess, for most of people because I have a lot of gas coming to this eye. What Look at world? what? Why don't you just say this is a big eye? <laughs> I have Where's a lot of gas. Food? Okay. Where's the food? You're, it's in that potato chip bag. What? And um, but look how good the juice looks in it. But now I'm gonna cook these a little longer because these are older collards and I am going to cover them with some more water and continue to simmer them. All right, we're gonna pick these up, get them in the bowl. Now we've been cooking these since 4.30 and it's seven o'clock. But we're not really eating them with supper tonight. We're just getting them ready for another day that was a lot of collards i could have probably used just a little bit tad more oil in them but you can see in this bowl how they look and i'm going to give them a taste and see if they've got enough salt when you cook you need to make sure you taste it before you serve it to somebody else it's hot It's good, but it really needs some more salt. But before I serve these, I'm gonna cook most of the juice out of it. And so when they reduce, they're gonna get saltier. So if you reduce yours as much as I do, don't add the salt until they reduce all the way down, then add the salt. If you're gonna serve them like this with a lot of water in them, then go ahead and add salt. But tonight, I'm actually gonna pour these up get them uh, cooled down, get them in the refrigerator. And then before I serve them, I'll probably cook them down just a little bit more. So I'm not gonna add salt at this point. Okay, I got these cooked up early for New Year's. We have a tradition, we have collard greens. That is the money, the paper money that we make for the year. And we have black eyed peas, which is the change. So when we were growing up, Daddy always made sure that we ate plenty of collard greens and black eyed peas at the table because he said he needed to make more money. I hope you've enjoyed watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did. <laughs>